Welcome to a new video. Today I just wanted to do a quick update for you guys and show you what the car looks like now. But we are going to put on this awesome red KDM decal I got. Uh, KDM stands for Korean Domestic Market, just as JDM is Japanese Domestic Market. Uh, Kias are products of South Korea, so I went ahead and got one of those. We've got us some ultra foam glass cleaner and a microfiber kind of chamois cloth. We're going to go ahead and clean up that area, and then we'll take a step back and see what the whole car looks like. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and squirt some of this cleaner on this side over here, and then take our towel kind of off this area make sure we cover all the edges of where we're going to be doing the decal at and usually with applying a decal uh, it'll be in basically three pieces you'll have the bottom piece that will peel off that doesn't really have any sticky on it uh, and then you've got this top piece right here that's almost kind of like a thin wax paper uh, and then in the middle there you can see that we've got sandwiched between the two the actual decal itself. So we'll go ahead and separate this and then get it laid onto the glass. Now that I've got the backing off and I've gone ahead and lined up the decal, I'm basically just gonna start here at this end where I've already kinda got it stuck on since I'm filming with one hand and attaching it with the other. Uh, but I will be using two hands here in a second to attach it so I don't have any bubbles. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go from that side all the way up to the top. Also, if you've got a auto detailing card or just really any kind of hard plastic card, you can go ahead and take and smooth out all your edges and make sure you don't have any bubbles on here. Don't press super hard because you don't want to tear the decal or scratch it up or anything like that. And then you basically leave yourself just a little edge here where the uh, decal underneath has stopped and you're going to go ahead and peel on back. Alrighty everybody, this is what our Optima looks like now. Still got the red and black Motegi rims with the red valve stem caps. Went ahead and got some new uh, red and black decals down the sides and the red slashes on the front here. We've got our Samurai lip kit, the tow hook. These custom badges I'm really disappointed with because that used to be as red as those there, but as you can see in the sun, it has just faded to complete white, so that kind of makes me mad. Uh, the Zevo LED headlight things are still kicking and going strong. There's our KDM sticker, decal, excuse me. We got our pinstripes still on the sides of the car. I may add some more of that soon. I went ahead and removed some of the stickers over here and just put on these little red and black pandas because I think they're cute and then moving back over here to the back of the car we still got our Tanaka toe strap on there for cosmetic purpose only because I've only got it just into the bottom of this cowling and then I went ahead and picked up one of these kind of rubbery it's almost like a phone case uh, but it goes around your license plate and it stops any vibration for anybody who has a system in the trunk or whatever or hears any, you know, vibration off their plate. These are really nice. They're, you know, low profile, come in all kinds of different colors and they're cheap. Uh, so yeah, that is what our car looks like now. Go ahead and step over here. I've got the Deadpool over there and another little panda right there. So yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hope to see you in some of my other videos. If you've got any questions about the car or any of the parts that I've put on, let me know in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos. We're going to be doing some more mods here pretty soon.